Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking all about skin type and skin condition. So hopefully by the end of this video you will know what your skin type is and you will also know what your skin skin condition is and you will know the difference between the two but if you're new around here hello my name is Sarah Jane I am actually a fully qualified beauty therapist um, and medical aesthetician and just before I actually took the plunge and did uh, YouTube and vlogging full-time I actually was a beauty therapy lecturer so in case you're wondering how I know all this that is how Okay, so first of all, I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. Obviously, there's a lot more information that I could give you, but I want to try and keep it as simple as possible, just so you don't get too confused with various different things. So I am going to talk first of all about what is the difference between a skin type and a skin condition. So with a skin type, you have four main skin types. That is oily, dry, normal and a combination. Um, so they are your skin types and your skin types are actually genetically determined. They can change a little bit as you get older due to different things like hormones and, and things like that. But generally your skin type is genetically determined. You then have skin conditions. Now skin conditions can be altered depending on your environment. So it could be that you are going through something internally or externally at the moment and it's affecting your skin. And those could be things like dehydration, uh, mature skin and also sensitivity. But we're going to talk about those a little bit later in the video. So before we get stuck in, ideally if you have a small mirror where you can look at your skin as we're doing this, that would be absolutely perfect. Um, and if you are looking at your skin as we're doing this, I would recommend that you take off your makeup, do a double cleanse of your skin so that you can really see what you are looking at. So skin types then, the first one that I'm going to talk about is oily skin. So oily skin is an overproduction of oil, or you might hear that oil being referred to as sebum, uh, because that is what oil is called. But I'll just go with oil just to keep it simple. So it is an oily skin, what you will find is once you have cleansed your skin in the morning or at night, you get that oily shine quite quickly and it's probably all over all over your face. Um, you will find that you have open pores. So when you look at your skin, um, you will often have like pores. Uh, everybody has pores, but um, they might be enlarged. So they might be open, they might look a little little bit bigger and they will look like tiny um, dark dots on your skin, on your nose, on your forehead, they could be um, anywhere on your face but generally you find sort of forehead, nose and cheeks where you can get large open pores um, and then also as well as those open pores you might have what we call congestion so you might have um, blackheads, you might have spots uh, which are just red raised spots or you might have um, sort of yellow pussy looking spots as well. So the reason why you're getting that congestion is because there is an overproduction of oil in the skin. Also because of this overproduction of oil, sometimes your skin can actually look a bit dull and a bit lifeless just because there is so much oil sort of trapped on the skin, especially if you don't exfoliate that away, it can uh, kind of build up and build up and build up and that's when your skin can start to look dull. So for an oily skin, you're looking for an oily shine which um, comes quite quickly after, after cleansing your skin. You will have open pores, you will have um, uh, congestion and it might look dull. So they're the kind of things you're looking for with an oily skin. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have a dry skin. So a dry skin is where you have a lack of oil rather than an overproduction of oil. So with a dry skin, you might feel that your skin is quite tight. You might find that you have um, like dry patches uh, where it could look a little bit grey, so dull but in a slightly different kind of way. It's like has a grey um, haze to the skin. You will also find that those pores on the skin will be really, really tight. Then when it comes to normal skin types, 
there is very few people that have a true normal skin. So by a normal skin type, you don't have an overproduction of oil, you don't have an underproduction of oil, your pores are there, but they're neither too enlarged and they're neither too tight. Um, and your skin just generally looks nice and smooth. There's no um, visible uh, congestion on the skin. So those blackheads, uh, those um, red raised spots or those pus filled spots. Um, and it's just generally quite normal. But as I say, it's very rare to see a true normal skin. Then we have a combination skin. So combination means it could be a combination of any of the ones that we've just spoken about. So dry, oily or normal. So you could have quite an oily um, T-zone for example, a little bit dry on the cheeks and then normal around here and on your neck. Or it could be that you are just oily on your forehead, the rest of it is quite normal. So it's a combination of any of those ones that we've just talked about. So they are your four main skin types and remember uh, that is genetically determined. So as we're going through that you might be thinking well I have actually got um, blackheads on my nose but I also have sort of quite dry flaky skin on there. So how can I have oily and dry skin at the same time? So I'm going to talk about that now. So you have your skin conditions. So one of the skin conditions I'm going to talk about is dehydration. And this takes a little bit of time to get used to what I'm talking about. But basically dehydration is lack of water in the skin. So dryness is lack of oil, dehydration is lack of water. So if you are finding, like I find this myself pers personally, if you have um, blackheads on your nose but you also have quite flaky skin on your nose, you are oily but also dehydrated. So you have an overproduction of oil but you have a lack of water in the skin. So it's actually really easy to become dehydrated. The skin is the largest organ of the body, but it's the last place to get that water when you take it in internally. So that's why it's really important that you are drinking around two liters of water a day. And even topping that up if you have like a cup of tea or coffee. So if you have a cup of coffee in the morning, I would suggest that you have two cups of water just to counteract the dehydration um, that that cup of tea or coffee causes. So that is um, your dehydration. So with dehydration, you might get flakiness of the skin. You will also get dehydration lines as well. So a lot of people when they smile and they start to see these little lines like appearing just here, if they are really, really super fine, sort of when you lift your skin up like this, you get fine lines going across, that is more likely to be dehydration rather than a sign of you getting wrinkles. Obviously as you get older they are going to appear but um, that can be dehydration. What you can also look for dehydration is when you smile and um, you look at the skin here, sometimes you can also get really really fine lines on your cheek and on your nose. Um, and when you sort of wrinkle up your nose as well, you can kind of see them. Uh, but you're looking at the very surface of the skin, not like the deeper uh, wrinkles. So you're looking for dehydration lines and you might also get the flaking as well. You can have dry and dehydrated skin because you might have a lack of oil and you might also have a lack of water. So it's really important that you get your head around that. But luckily for you, if you do have dehydration lines sort of around the eyes and things, just by um, upping up your water supply and making sure that you have a good moisturiser, you can actually really um, get rid of those. Um, but obviously if they are fine lines, then it is something different. So if you are seeing those fine lines, then it might be that you have mature skin. So you're looking for fine lines around the eyes, you might have lines around the lips just here and also in between 
um, the eyebrows and in the forehead um, and then as those fine lines um, develop they will turn into wrinkles so you might have crow's feet around here or around the lips. Um, you might even find that you get uh, premature aging so when you're aging before you should and that can be caused by a number of factors um, depending on your lifestyle so it could be that you spend a lot of time in the sun it could be that you go out um, walking a lot and exposed to the elements um, it could be that you are a smoker or you drink a lot of alcohol all of these things actually cause toxins within the body and can break down the collagen which is what keeps our skin nice and firm um, so it might be that you're getting a bit of premature aging but there are things that you can do in order to um, help that including sort of if you are exposing yourself to toxins like alcohol or or smoke then you know try and reduce that or stop that um, and then also making sure that you use SPF when you are outside and you want to be using SPF every single day of your life it doesn't matter whether you sit in an office by a window um, if you're thinking well I'm not actually outside those UV a rays will come through the um, through the window and can actually damage your skin. So wear an SPF on your skin every single day. I would recommend um, an SPF 30 as a very minimum. Um, and then in the hotter months, maybe even go up to an SPF 50. Your older self will thank your younger self for it. Also, while we're talking about um, mature skin, um, I want to touch on pigmentation. So you might find that you have um, sunspots, so you start to get those pigmentation marks. And again, that's caused by sun, so make sure you're wearing that SPF. Another skin condition is actually sensitive skin. So you might find that all of a sudden your skin becomes sensitive. It might be that it's had a particular trauma, like um, sunburn or something like that, or you could have used um, a harsh chemical on your face or a harsh product on your face, should I say, um, and it's caused a bit of reaction. Or you might find that your skin is just generally quite sensitive. So for if you have quite a sensitive skin, you might find it reacts quite easily to products. Um, it reacts um, maybe easily to either touching or by products. So it could be one or the other or both. Sometimes if I was to do a facial, for example, um, pe some people go quite red quite quickly because it's touch sensitive and then other people get uh, more sensitive towards products. So try and figure out what that one might be for you. Um, it could be that you have uh, broken capillaries, which is like the fine red, red lines on the cheeks. This can also be caused by things like going um, out for walks. So if you have a dog and you go out regularly to take them for a walk and you have a lot of uh, wind blowing your new in your face or you're going from hot to cold quite a lot that can also um, cause broken capillaries so there you have a sensitive or um, sensitized skin caused by your surroundings so with that said I want you to think about what I've talked about um, maybe start by looking at your skin condition first to see if you have any of those things that I've talked about the dehydration the sensitivity or the mature skin and then look at the underlying skin which is your skin type so oily dry normal or a combination of those and hopefully by going through all of that you know a little bit more about your skin now and it will make it a little bit easier when you go and shop for your products for your skin because I know when you're looking at them and it says oily combination or normal to dry um, you you're not quite sure of which ones to choose in my career when I've done skin analysis I would say that majority of people are a combination of all different skin types so you've just got to choose what you are most concerned about whether it's the oiliness or the dryness I would maybe start trying to work on your skin condition first so if you are dehydrated just up that water intake if you are sensitive make sure that 
that you are you have a product that is going to protect you from that sensitivity if if you can whether it's getting sensitive skincare products or getting an SPF um, also with your mature skin you know try and um, adapt your skincare for to go for more of the mature ranges and then once that kind of improves you can really start working on your skin type so just remember your skin conditions can change a little bit depending on your environment and your skin types are what is genetically determined in you. Well, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and got a little bit of something from it. If you figured out your skin type, leave me a comment down below and tell me what your skin type is and your skin condition is. But thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos and I shall see you again next time. Bye. Thank you.